Because there's nothing going on in his stupid little head. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. What happened? Did your, your balls drop off? Get off my lawn. Get off my plane. I want to suck you off, Steve. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. You thinking what I'm thinking, partner? Aim for the bushes. Party foul. Party foul. Party foul. Party foul. Oh my God, what a start that was. <laughs> Good start to the guy. <laughs> Dig it up a bounty. 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 You got to go. Dig those holes. Dig it up a bounty. Dig it up a bounty. Welcome. The fourth. Hello. To the very first episode of Aiming for the Bushes, a podcast that dives into movies a little bit, looks up some interesting facts, and then we spit them back out at you. I am Corbin Barnes, here with my co-host, Cole. Aim for the bushes. (laughs) And BJ. Aim for... Hello, everyone. (laughs) When we... I feel like... A podcast or like a YouTube channel has been something that we've like had in the back of our minds and like wanted to do for like a long time. For forever. Not me. And uh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut your face. I've never wanted to. You drag me you tricked me to be here today. <laughs> and we finally decided on dedicating to the podcast because we just needed to start doing something, right? Yeah, of course. And <laughs> When we first like, <clears throat> s- like decided it was going to be about movies, Holes was the first movie that Cole spat out for. Holes like Hol- immediately. Holes is uh, the perfect movie. Um, so <laughs> and here's why. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start so, my four part <laughs> explanation. So back to the future of favorite movie, but Holes is the most perfect movie I've ever seen in my life. Whoa. Yeah. You said perfect. Perf- it's a perfect film. Flawless. <laughs> we did just get it on watching it. Also and true. I'm inclined to yeah. agree with you. You know, when it I, is when solid, I was in very a, solid when picture. I was living in North Carolina, I had some free time, <laughs> and I I tried writing a song about holes. Was it? I got one guess. I got one guess as to what it was about. You won't say it. <laughs> what, D- what is it? Digging. No, no, no. That, that no. It wasn't I wrote about like, digging? Like a, well, it's about digging. It's about the it's about the movie Holes. But I only wrote one line, uh, and I was like, <laughs> I can't fucking write a song. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> Writing songs has to be fucking difficult. <laughs> yeah, Agreed. It was pretty, uh, yeah. I gave up almost instantly. <laughs> it's pretty tough. I've written a song. I've written a song. I've, I've read some of your songs. Yeah. Like, like over the years. Yeah. I remember you wrote a song about uh, just having a beard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, I was, uh, when I was in uh, high what school. A, yeah. What a topic. <laughs> we, were, we, were, we were, yeah. I remember when you wrote it. <laughs> I don't remember this. Can you? Can I you remember please it really well. We explain. were at it was it was we were at your house. We were it was we were still in school. Okay, and we were in your parents' basement. It was me, you, and and Vince Larue. Yeah, and Stetson Shook. Of course, you remember this? Just probably we were, hanging out and playing Call of Duty. Playing or Call of Duty, and we were we eating Doritos. Eating Doritos, and, and we had we pizza. had a nerf we had a nerf fight. Sixty <laughs> fucking Mountain Dews. Oh well, yeah, and we had a nerf fight. We, <laughs> it's, what I, it's what I remember the most, and uh, you you we started talking about writing songs, and you wrote a song like in your notes on your phone. Oh yeah. Oh, I do remember this. Yeah, I do remember this. And yes, I, I do. And I yes, read I it, and I was like, you, you like just wrote it like as we were there, and I. And I don't remember much of it, but I was, I was sort of thinking, can we wrote this you right wrote now? This and we were just chilling here just now. I'm like, hey man. Uh, I don't know how we got out of that, but uh, anyway. <laughs> I'm sure we'll, <laughs> we'll be going into holes. Holes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. that's right. Yeah. Holes, the, the, that was the movie we were talking holes, about. That was the movie. A, two, back, back a 2003 holes. picture directed by Andrew Davis, who I only looked up like his other filmography, just to like say it right now, obviously. But I was very surprised to see he directed Collateral Damage oh, with Paul Schwarzenegger, <laughs> um, Fugitive with Harrison Ford, I didn't and kill my wife. Obvi- obviously the best of the three. Under care. Siege with Steven Seagal. He directed kind of those three as well, which I thought was 
kind kind of hilarious, like these massive over the top action flicks, and then and a he Disney just, and he just yeah. holds yeah. Disney and flick. And works with Shia LaBeouf. Based on a made his best movie, best selling novel. <laughs> he made his best yeah, movie. Made his best movie <laughs> with, this, with Disney. <laughs> Maybe that's saying something. He didn't write it. Were all those movies before holes? Um, I'm pretty, pretty like yeah. The they're all those are all yeah. those are all, all those movies fugitives are from the nineties. Those are all nineties, yeah. yeah. Did you um, make anything after Holes? I, I didn't look that. He probably did. So when Holes came out, the the opening weekend they grossed sixteen point three million out of dollars. A, dollars out of a twenty million dollar budget, a lot of dollars. and overall nationally it grossed seventy one million dollars. Wow, I don't know. I Man, that's a lot of hole money. In the that's opening weekend or as a whole? Oh no, the opening the opening <laughs> that's weekend. That's a lot of money from holes, dude. The opening weekend was sixteen point three. Oh. And the gross total internationally was seventy one million. Oh. Yeah. Starring the un- undeniable Shia LaBeouf. Sigourney Weaver is there. Yeah, and she's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't bad. I'm telling you yeah, what. She's yeah. gorgeous. When she says get a snack, she should get a snack. <laughs> like, I think that's what she know, meant. Like, I think yeah. X-ray and her had something going on. <laughs> X-ray, yeah. her and she's X-ray. like, get, she like double his, shower tokens. She like double shower. Tokens. <laughs> she liked she his glasses. Him, she wanted him. I think she be winked in the at shower him. a little bit longer. I think you know she what I mean? winked at him when she said, it. "You know they got cameras in there." Yeah, they got cameras in the showers. Sigourney's <laughs> on our boxy. Yeah, X, I mean, X-Ray's the leader, clearly. <laughs> he's the cult, he's the ringleader there, 100%. It'd be funny if she produced, like, the flamethrower from Alien. Aliens, <laughs> like, or whichever one. Like, she brought it into the movie Holes? Yeah, like, everybody has, like, revolvers. Like, but she <laughs> just <pulls laughs> like, like, when Caveman stole the, ses- the, <laughs> the, the sunflower seeds, <laughs> and she just fucking lights Mr. Sir on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sir, who... On our rewatch, I didn't realize how funny his character oh, was. Oh, he's good. Almost every John line, almost every good. line he said was. That's like yeah. one of Hilarious. John Voight's best roles. Yeah. That and Varsity Blues. Man. Varsity Blues. <laughs> uh, Varsity Blues. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he, he's. I watched Mission Impossible, the first one, for for the first time, like um, a few months ago, and he's in it, and he's the bad guy. <laughs> he, he plays like he's he supposed to be a good guy, but he's good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. But clearly, <laughs> he's. Like the bad guy the whole time. It's huh. it's not even uh, not uh, even close. Not even a mystery. <laughs> not even close. They could have John Voight and he's gonna be a good guy. Who unless, who, unless it's National who makes Treasure. John Voight the good guy? The guy who directed National Treasure, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> National <laughs> Treasure Two. So should we start the um just the quick synopsis breakdown and insert some interesting well, things along the way? Well, Let's just start from the beginning. <laughs> that's the best place that's to usually, start. That's usually unless the best spot. Unless, spot. unless we're go. watching Dobby Memento. <laughs> Dobby. <laughs> but, all right, let's... I mean, if you haven't seen Holes... <laughs> if you haven't seen... the demographic we're catering to. Really. Yeah. <laughs> if, I mean, if you haven't seen Holes... <laughs> uh, no, so... Uh, what, what am I supposed to say? Like, just this is not. Um, yeah. yeah, I guess. I mean, uh, kind of so, give us a yeah. you know, rundown. Well, so, okay, so Holes is so it's Stanley Young that's the fourth, and uh, he he steals some shoes, but he doesn't really steal any shoes. It's like that's kind of the point of the movie. He's innocent, and he gets put into uh, this camp for for ne'er do wells. How but often do they do well ne'er? Ne'er, ne'er, <laughs> ne'er. which ne'er. means which means not very often. That's never, hardly ever. And uh, yeah, it's, and then uh, hilarity ensues. Uh, <laughs> Keith Barringer is in math, and uh, yeah, let's just let's just get into it here. <laughs> let's just get into it here. All right, so, yeah, so the opening it opens with a you know barf bag getting bit by barf getting bag. a snake. <laughs> gets bit by a snake on the foot. We should we should mention they're all out digging holes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so he's the part of the, the hole. He, he, of well, course, caveman replaces him. He's um he's in Camp D or. D ten, D ten, Okay, first of all, can I, can I back up? How do you get the name Barf Bag? How does well, that happen? Was that <laughs> pee on his bed, or was that like a puke stain? I've always thought it was a puke I, stain, and that's yeah, how that was a very questionable stain. You know, you know he just like saying. puked somewhere on one of his first yeah. <laughs> <laughs> days at the camp. Yeah, <laughs> he probably he was outside hot. too long. Yeah, 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 yeah threw up, ate too much. 
addicted. Re- regardless of how he earned his nickname, he was ready to get the fuck out of there. Well, clearly, yeah, he would rather... Because Pandetsky's like, oh, Lewis won't be returning. He's still in the hospital. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> like, he's just not yeah. coming back. Well, so if, if, if being in the hospital due to a venom snake bite is better than Camp Green Lake, then... Yeah, that was, I guess that's, what you get. that's pretty dark. That it's, pretty a dark, dark. it's a dark movie. Sam gets fucking shot on a boat. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, uh, it's not entirely for for the fate of art. <laughs> it's really not. Oh, it's, so it's uh, Stanley Illness. He's walking with his red cap on. And, he's red. Walking, and he gets hit by the shoes. And uh, I wrote down, because BJ said this, BJ says, who threw the shoes? I don't know why <laughs> the I shoes. Down. <laughs> BJ said that at the time. And then, uh, so they go back to the apartment. It would hurt to get just and clobbered co- by some cleats falling from, like, right, t- terminal velocity oh of an overpass. That's why I don't How high bro? was that bridge that Z- Zero is on? He had, like, when he, when he, when he got to his parents' house, he had, like, a mark on his chin. But he got hit, like, on the head and shoulder. He fell on the ground, though. So C- maybe. Caveman, you mean? Uh, Stanley, yeah. Stanley yeah. Zero. Yeah. Well, I mean, like how? So how high was that bridge that Zero was on? That he fucking hucked those off. It looked like it was pretty high in our. But there was like a whole neighborhood sequence. underneath it, when Stanley was walking. That's they, pro- they, they probably didn't use the, <laughs> the same bridge that they. There's, threw it there's off of. plenty of. Movies, well, I'm talking about but... within the universe the movie is in. Why? Why? Why is our whole neighborhood underneath the bridge? It's a city. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, have you ever been to, have you ever been to like, New York or, like... No, I've never been to New York. There's, like... I mean, I, I, mean, I haven't either, but, I mean, there's, there's like, neighborhoods right? that, like, start underneath fucking bridges and shit, man. Well, this is a high, yeah. this is a high bridge, is all I'm saying. Yeah, man. There's They got that shit. Yeah, let's just move uh, on. They, they got that shit the shit in, you know, a bridge. lot of metropolitan areas, if you will. Well, it's a pretty high bridge. It's not a very busy bridge. Well, no. depending on the time of day, you know. Maybe it was like, like two. Nothing really happens at two, right? Yeah. Everyone's at work. That's true. No, I mean, that's true, dude. Everybody yeah. is at work at like two. O'clock. I get off at two thirty. <laughs> Speaking of work, did Henry Winkler, aka Shia's dad, have any other job, or was it just? He was. Ju- they only described him as a foot fetish. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <his job. laughs> yeah. After then, Stanley goes on to get. S- yeah, he. he, he that he, that brings us to uh, when the cops show up at their apartment. And the whole floor smells like stinky feet. Stinky feet. This whole floor smells like stinky feet. Smells like stinky yeah, feet. They just take pictures of all the posters of uh, sweet feet on the uh, fucking wall. Yeah. Oh, that was like the, <laughs> when it shows them in the courtroom, that was like their evidence that he's a big fan. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then when it shows the, the flashback right. sequence and the baseball players there, he's like, that ain't no fan of mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're no fan of mine. <laughs> and, it, like, okay. and then they play like the like the camera flash sound and it shows like the picture of Stanley like sitting on his bed with like the posters <laughs> behind him. Yeah. That, uh, that uh, was enough to put him in Camp Green Lake. He could have went to jail and the judge wouldn't have <laughs> missed any sleep about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of stiff for a Ju- like a teenager yeah. that has no that criminal stole, record. That stole a pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah, it was allegedly. A pair of shoes. And he was I could send jail you. I could send you out to jail, yeah. and I but wouldn't lose like, a lick of sleep over. To me, looks like an old <laughs> Colin Cowherd. It, I thought the same. Yeah, it's I like, thought the same. Like, I think Colin Cowherd, if he was a judge, and also in his like late sixties. Yeah, he, give been, give yeah. a couple years. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes to Camp Green Lake, and then uh, he meets Mister Sir, and uh, Our, who turned out to be my our name is Mister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's my the best character. character in the, well, him and him and Pendansky. Pendansky. Yeah, he's not a real doctor. No, not a real doctor, which which is troubling. <laughs> I don't really know what kind of doctor he is. Then, if it's not real, yeah. Well, we find yeah. out the whole camp exists so Sigourney Weaver can find treasure. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't true. really. I, yeah, that is the case. Yes, <laughs> expect him to he's, be too. He's Trout's oh, granddaughter. Oh. <laughs> Isn't his daddy owned the lake? My daddy the, owned the, the lake. duck may swim. And on then Mister the Sir is giving him a tour of uh, you know camp the camp. And then he was like, you want to run away? And then he's like, <laughs> he's like, I'm warning you. And then he's like, you heard the man say Warning you. And then they bring him, and he brings him, gives him some clothes. And that's when we meet uh, Pandansky. 
Pandansky. Doctor Doctor Pandansky. Like, that doesn't make you a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> He's like he has odd moments of support, but mainly but he despises Zero. I mean, yeah. he we'll get to him. that. I mean, but he, he despises. Him. He does. He shows respect and kindness to every other camper except for Hector Zero. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is very true. That's I true. Know what is. And Hector, and it's like we uh, they they make it known that like Hector like doesn't talk very often either <laughs> so it's like what did he do yeah. to piss him off he, i don't know he just doesn't like answering a stupid question <laughs> when um when mr sir is showing stanley around is that when we first hear about the infamous yellow spotted lizards oh yeah yeah it is because he says is yeah, he i meant to it? bring that up mr sir says is he like if the heat and Shit don't get you the yellow spot lizard wheel. They'd be like, yeah. they, they'll kill you on the on first bite. Usually, <laughs> usually, kill you, usually. <laughs> and he's like, like rattlesnake the... kill you usually. They, they won't bother you. Or they won't bother you if you don't bother them. Usually, <laughs> he's like, it's the worst thing that can happen. Yeah. But the guys, yellow spot lizards. Yeah. Did you guys know that yellow spot lizards aren't real? <laughs> what? No, dude, they are real. They got fourteen spots in each of them. Per the internet, obviously there was some CGI moments. But those are just bearded dragons with children's finger paint on yeah, their backs. <laughs> I knew that one. They're, yeah. 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 But bearded dragons are pretty cute. <laughs> Damn. I wonder. I, that I should be your next get, pet, Cole. You should get a bearded dragon. You should be. Yeah. Oh, you should become you should a reptile a guy. Dragon. I want a snake. I've said yeah. I want a snake. You should, you should a get snake. a snake. That'd be I, cool. I, but I, I'd feel bad if I have to feed him like a mouse or a rat or something. You can get ones that are already that. dead. Well, he's got to eat, you know. He does gotta eat, but I want to feed him like, like you know, like a carrot or something. <laughs> <laughs> a carrot, a carrot. Yeah. Well, I don't want to feed him like our live. Mouse. Mean, I would feel like if I like fed him a live vegan mouse. snake. Maybe, it's like, maybe it is. I'm just picturing a carrot eating like a, like a snake eating like a full carrot with like the like <laughs> like the leaves on the carrot still, and he eats it like the long ways. <laughs> you just see him get like, like a little bit thicker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't. I don't want to feed him a live animal. <laughs> yeah, that I wouldn't like. He probably doesn't get I vaccinations yeah. Yeah. either. I don't want my <laughs> snake to get COVID. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like feeding it another animal. Then you didn't hear. You know, if I'm like, sleeping. if I'm like at like a zoo or something, and they have like a snake exhibit, and they have like, we're gonna feed them mice. I'm like, I want to, I want to see that. That's pretty dope. But I don't want. I would. I would. I don't want to. Someone doing it. I would yeah. do it myself. Then like you're gonna go to like I'm a monster. Then yeah, some kind of animal. Yeah. I mean, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I mean, I'll watch it. <laughs> I'll watch it occasionally. Yeah. People watch back I'm in the day. They used to watch decapitations and stuff. So yeah, oh, yeah true. You know, they used to they used to fight lions. Remember those days? When the gladiators oh, used gladiators. to fight lions. Just throw them in a pit. Say here you go. You know what? That's terrible. Awful. I'd probably watch that though. You know. It would. <laughs> what kind of awesome <laughs> entertainment would that be? Think yeah. about that. If wow, was... watching a guy going up like for his life against a fucking lion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're gonna. I'm gonna time. I'd rather tra- do that gonna time than travel feed, feed a live mouse and, to and film it on my iPhone. Yeah. And <laughs> they're gonna like look at some old picture of the Coliseum, and you'll see me like in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like old. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna Photoshop a picture of you at. <laughs> at the Coliseum, <laughs> at the Coliseum, fucking with his phone. His <laughs> cameras were so prominent back then. Oh my gosh. Well, we're talking about time travel now. Well, time travel is always relevant, dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, if we ever uh, like are in a lifetime where there is time travel, yeah, we should uh, make a pact right now that we appear right now. Uh. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's tough. We were so, like, maybe, maybe, maybe we, we gonna... didn't make the pact. Maybe one of us we, was we, like, we know what maybe one of us is like, nah, it's, it's because we didn't do a blood pact. Like if we do a blood pact right now, maybe that after if, the show. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do a blood pact. Blood okay. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I've been I've been waiting. I'm surprised it took this long. <laughs> okay, so we met Ben a long <laughs> Anyways, time ago, and, and then we walk outside. That's when we meet uh, Armpit and X Ray and Squid. And what's, what's the problem with <laughs> 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 bro? 
<laughs> what is Squid's problem? Squid's, you never, he's you never geeking get the whole a redemption movie. for Squid. He is geeking out the whole no. movie. That's true. Armpit Squid's gets, their some, gets he, the redemption. Armpit gets the redemption. X-Ray kind of does. Because he's like, call my mom. Zigzag does. Zigzag's, like, Zigzag's oh. a fucking asshole. Bro. Yeah, he started that fight. Until the Theodore says he's sorry. Yeah. yeah. Good for Armpit, though. Yeah, good for Pit, bro. Good for Pit. Good for Pit. Good for Pit. So Pandansky's all, so you get to show... Uh, He's not Kate Man yet. You're gonna show Shia around, <laughs> around Stan, the camp. Stanley, Stanley the camp, and he's like, "Yeah, whatever, bro, whatever." And so after that, uh, oh, so they go to lunch and they bring X Ray over to lunch, and they're like, "Hey, this is where you sit, mm-hmm. fucking nerd, <laughs> you dweeb." <laughs> and then so they ask him where he came from or why he's there, or they bring Caveman over to lunch. Yeah, they bring sorry, Caveman over to lunch. I know the yeah. character, the, the actors that play X Ray and and uh, Caveman look really similar. They do. You're right. Yeah. And uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so they ask him, why the fuck are you here? And then so he says he stole a pair of shoes. And that's when Zero's like, they had red X's on them. And that's when they freak Everyone's out. Everyone's like, Zero. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else can you do, Zero? What else can you do, <laughs> like, Zero? He's a simpleton. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's how, you, that's how you get him to just bottle up more. He just, yeah. That's true. You, gotta, you don't say that to somebody. That's true. Exactly. Come on. Exactly. You gotta, what else can you do zero? I literally wrote, what else can you do zero? <laughs> yeah, I wrote that too. <laughs> oh, then they go, in, okay, so then I I wrote a note and I noticed when they went and got their shovels, it said library. Yes. Yeah, that shovels. was pretty funny. Clearly the education program <laughs> at Camp Green Lake is not up to date. like that was a Mr. Sir, right? You get, that you was definitely on, on Mr. Sir. <laughs> Remember, course, don't yes. grab X-ray shovel. That one's shorter yes. than the rest. Yeah, okay, so five <laughs> yeah. foot. I got that right there. Is, is smaller this, shovel. Smaller hole. Words to live by, really. Does that happen right at that part? Uh, so after the, uh, what else can you do, Zero? Yeah. Uh, you see uh, uh, when, when they're in the trial, and he's like, you're no fan of mine. <laughs> and then uh, we see, uh, uh, we are introduced to Kissing Kate Barlow. Oh, flashback sequence, yeah. right? How do we get inter- introduced to her? Does somebody bring her up? Uh, they must have. <laughs> Is that when they find... Uh, the shotgun or the lipstick? Oh no! So this, so yes. So they, someone does bring up this. So it's a flashback of them at dinner with this with Stanley at dinner with his family. Yeah. And then he's and then is the no the, the grandpa talks about his uh, his. I guess it'd be his oh dad. yes, it's, that's when we learn about the she curse. Steals from yes, yeah, so she steals, steals from, from Stanley. Yeah, that's the first. And, you know, and that's that's what. And then he finds refuge on God's thumb. Yeah. And then no food, no water for 16 days. That's 16 that days. Um, you cannot live that long without water. No way. No uh, well, way. He was. He had. He did have water because he was on God's throne. Oh, that's we, true. No one knows that except Stanley and Zero later in the Fuck. picture. I knew that, and I still fucked it up. Yeah. Well, don't let it happen again. Oh. So after that is when the smaller shovel, smaller holes. Uh, smaller shovel, smaller hole. And we all agreed that that was like a good metaphor for life. Yeah. That can apply to a lot you of have things. a smaller dick. Girls are not going to be. Wait, what? <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah. I, I lost my train. Is a standard there. shovel five feet? Is that I don't a standard know. shovel? Those shovels are, except for the one that X-ray. Five has. feet. Yeah, that standard sounds about shovel, right. Standard shovel length. Yeah, give it a. Hey, Jamie, can you can you pull up the length pull of the standard first, a pull standard shovel? Um. It's spelled standard incorrectly. Thanks. Step darn. Forty-five inches. Standard Oops. length a of shovel? shovel is usually about forty-eight inches. So forty-eight inches is um, four feet. Four, six. Four, six. six feet. Wow. I'm bad at math. Oof. Oof. Dead. Let's move on from the math. Let's move on. So that's six feet. Oh, it says it right here. The shovel. Five. The shovel is the measuring device for these holes yeah. that they dig, and the reason they dig. Is to improve their character, correct? Of course. That, that's what they say. That's what digging does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. You're not digging for anything. Oh, You're speaking of digging, um, the crew had to dig 400 holes <laughs> for, 400. like, the background and, like, shots and stuff. But then you see, like, when they were driving under the bus, it was made to look like there was 10,000 holes. Oh. Because that's how it was described in the book. Did dig those holes? Like yeah, they they, the they dug four hundred holes. You can tell some it's of them. Of they dug. Down. I'm sure they dug most of them with machinery. It's like, but you can see like the marks of like the it. teeth <laughs> of like the backhoe <laughs> on a couple, in a couple <laughs> of the holes. I thought that was kind of funny. Obvi- cool. Obviously, they're not gonna actually fucking dig them. That's absolutely absurd. And the uh, 
the cast was actually put through a month of like like the first month when they were shooting they were doing like physical training along with the shooting to get like used to being outside because it's all day so hot, dude. yeah and the they first thing i thought about that was it was probably kind of hard to shoot because there's probably a lot of people at the set that were like under 18 so i wonder if that made yeah, any it issues Maybe it didn't. I don't know. Did they, where did they? I didn't. Film I didn't at? hear that they did. It was filmed in. Um, it takes place in Texas because we see uh, the uh, baseball player that he stole the cleats from is a, a ranger. Oh, okay. So <laughs> and Texas um, but it was filmed in um, the Mojave Desert oh, in California, okay. which is locate uh, this where they were at was located outside of uh, Ridgecrest, I believe. Yeah, deserts are hot. They're they're wicked hot. They're like yeah, the hottest. I rain. hate sand. It's coarse, you know. You wouldn't like digging. It's rough and irritating. Yeah. It gets everywhere. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Yeah. A couple uh, interesting casting things that I read about was um, Bow Wow was actually like on the on the list of people to play Zero. <laughs> really? <Bow Wow laughs> yeah. Was, and uh, Frankie Muniz was going to play Stanley. <laughs> I didn't know that. Interesting. But they both fell through, and we ended up with Shia LaBeouf and... Um, the guy that played Zero. Whose name <laughs> is... I wrote it down like four times on this piece of paper. But Cleo I, Thomas? Yeah, Cleo it's Thomas. Cleo Thomas. <laughs> you know, did you guys ever read the book, Holes? I think I might have like had it in my possession at school at one time, but I don't think I ever read it. I never read DJ? it. I also never read it. I read it in fifth grade, and Stanley Yelnitz <clears throat> is actually a fat kid. Yes, oh, I read that what? too. And like, he's a fat kid. He was like Come losing on, weight. Show some respect for the fat kids. He was like losing weight I mean, throughout that's camp. What he was. That's how they described him. I know him. they should have. He yeah. should have been a fat yeah. kid in the movie, man. But the director they said, should've. "Well, I can't really do that <laughs> with a <that laughs> child actor. <laughs> yeah. Make the kid lose weight." Yeah. Yeah. So, I just thought that was interesting. I think that it is I guess interesting Stanley's too. Stanley the buff. So where does that put us in our journey, Coleosis? So after a smaller shovel, smaller hole. Mm. Uh, that's when all sinners let's go down. Yeah. Let's go down. <laughs> There's a couple of really good moments yeah. with music. I I like I like a lot of them. Yeah. So they're all walking in the sand, oh, zero fleeing the charge, and uh, <clears throat> and then so it's a uh, Mr. Sir. Oh, Mr. Sir and the caveman, the not yet caveman, he's like, dig here. And he's like, and then, uh, you know, Stanley tries to dig and he falls on his butt. And he goes, <laughs> right away. Well, one down, 10 million to go. One <laughs> down, 10 million to go. <laughs> he has so many good lines. Stanley is obviously out there for a lot of the night. And uh, he's like, I'm done with my hole now. <laughs> Where are you guys? <laughs> yes. Somebody help. Before that, though, uh, he's digging with everybody else. And they keep throwing dirt in his hole. <laughs> and, and then Stanley's like, hey, do you mind like throwing it somewhere else? And everyone's like, shut the fuck up. Watch where you're throwing your dirt, Stanley. Yeah. Watch where you're throwing your dirt, Stanley. Stop throwing your dirt in our hole, Stanley. Everyone's just like... He shouldn't even befriended them by the end because they're all. Oh no, they're they're, so they're, they're very kids. they're flipping and flopping they took the whole his movie. Food X, the one X-ray, time. X rays is bipolar or something. Yeah. And then that's when we meet uh, Elia Yelnets, mm. which is his great grandfather. He's no good, dirty, rotten, yeah. pig stealing great great grandfather. That mm-hmm. is. And then we also meet uh, Madame Zeroni. Another flash, or is this the first flashback? This to is them? the first flashback. Yeah. Okay, because he, he sees the girl. He sees his hot girl that he wants to marry, but he doesn't think he can. And then he goes to Madame Zeroni for some reason, and then she's like, "Well, you should go to America. That's where my son is." <laughs> and then. But then she's like, well, you carry this pig up the mountain until it's, like, really big, and then you sell it to, uh, I wrote his name down. It's the girl's dad, uh, Morris Menke. Morris Menke. Morris. He's a schmuck. <laughs> he's a schmuck. Yes. <laughs> Tell so you what, he's a schmuck. You carry this pig, and you sing, if only, if only the world. Yeah. So was that, like, a spell to make the pig grow bigger? Maybe it was a spell. Because why else would the pig it, have gotten it bigger? Take very long for the pig Wait, to get oh, big. But we, go, we come to find out after the pig grows and he does the routine, he brings it down and the the other suitor also brings a pig. The but they're the same, they're size. The same size. So taking it up the mountain didn't even help. It didn't even do anything. Maybe it made well, it bigger than it would have been, but it wasn't big enough. 
Yeah. So Madame Zerouni well, didn't it even really worth it? I think it just advanced. No, it cursed his family for four it generations. It was, no, it wasn't it was worth it. Of course not. I think it just advanced the weight gain of the pig that he had. He had like a piglet at first. Yeah, that's true. Because it didn't. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows how long the. Who do you get the piglet? How long from? do pigs. How long does it take for a pig to get big? I mean. Anybody know? Any farmers? Probably. Right I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I mean. It's got to be a, like no. six months to a year. Because it was like a full grown, like, pot it, it happens pig. so fast. Because he's like, I want permission to marry your daughter. And he's like, oh, this guy, <laughs> this fat guy over here has a fat pig that he's going to give me. <laughs> My daughter's so he's man. like, we're gonna see, we're gonna, we're gonna take these two piglets, and whoever grows the biggest in the year from now gets to marry my daughter. <laughs> like, yeah, that I, makes yeah. a lot of sense, right? Yeah, no, I, we didn't that? really notice that when we were what watching kind of, it. What kind of like trading is that? <clears throat> it was a long time. If you ago. give me a pig, you can have my my daughter. I mean, back then they didn't. I mean, that's just how it was. <laughs> Think about how yeah. long a pig's gonna last you. Like as a, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of food. A lot of money. Yeah. I want a pig as a pet one day. Dude, Dude pigs really, are pretty cute. They're really yeah. smart, too. They're wicked. They're wicked they're smart. Wicked smart. Yeah. They're wicked smart. They can catch up on things mm-hmm. really fast. <laughs> I saw this video the other day. This uh, pig was, like, laying under a blanket, and just, like, it's only, like, its snout was peeking out, like, its face was covered up, or his eyes or whatever. And the owner took, like, it was obviously, like, a pet pig, and the owner took, like, a treat of some kind and, like, put it, like, just past the pig's nose, and it kind of, like, laid there for a little bit because it was still <laughs> sleeping. And then, it, like, you can see it, like, smell it, and it's, like, nose twitched a little bit, and then it just, like, reached out. And just... <laughs> it was so it was so cute. That's adorable. Pigs are yeah, cute. Pigs, pigs are sick. You know, I used to have pigs. You used to have pigs? Yeah. Really? Did you eat them? Yeah. What? Did you eat them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my dad, my, me and my dad used to have pigs. They get out sometimes, you know. We go down the Ponderosa, and they get out, and we go down there with some wood. And, the hogs are out. And, no, hogs are out. He'd be like, get the fuck, get the truck. I'm getting the pigs back in the barn. I'm like, okay. Damn. I, I wish I had, I wish I had pigs. It was pretty cool. They smelled really bad, obviously. Yeah. Though. I mean, when they get big, dude, they'll mess you up. Pigs big, man. Oh yeah, they'll, they can fuck you up. And in the yeah, they'll, and they'll in the take, south, they're like they're like overpopulated, and people fucking shoot them from helicopters and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I that's what I learned watching that's what I learned watching Deadwood. Feed them the pigs. Oh, there's there's this uh, the there's this scene in a uh, Red Dead Redemption two <laughs> that it's like a like a side mission. I think if you're in like. You take a dead body, like the stripper killed somebody. <laughs> nice. and, and then you thought, can you get rid of this body? And if you choose to get rid of it, you just throw it in the pig pen and the pigs eat it. Nice. Yeah, yeah they'll eat anything. That just reminded me. Of I don't that. remember if I did that one or not. I don't think I don't. I, I don't did. think I did that mission. I, I didn't replay that game. Great I, game. This is one of the best. I haven't. Probably my favorite. Saddle up. Percentage it yet. Saddle up. What's what's yeah. next? What's after the flashback? She says Morris Menke. Morris Menke is, a schmuck. Menke is up the mountain. a schmuck. And then it shows so it shows caveman who's not caveman yet. His name's Stanley, uh, digging a hole. After, it's, it's still his first hole, and then Mister Sir sh- shows up with water, and he has uh, blisters. And then Magnus is like big fat blisters, and he's actually trying to help him out a little bit. And then it quickly goes back to uh, Morris Menke. Uh, when he makes his, when uh, the daughter makes his decision or her decision, <laughs> <laughs> who, who was really making the decision there? <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, I don't know," which kind of pisses. Uh, what's his name? Elia. Elia Yelnats. Elia Yelnats. And he just like looks over everybody, and then she's like, "I'll think of a number between one and ten and then Yel- Elia's like, "Whatever, man, get out of here." Doesn't he like break his flowers? <laughs> <laughs> and Mor- Morris Mick, he's like, "You picks for one." And he's like having the best day of his life. He's like sitting on the porch, like. I, I, I'm a pigs. Two pigs. The no good, dirty, dirty rotten, pig stealing great great grandfather forgets to carry Madame Zeroni up the mountain. And that's when the yeah. that's when the curse sets that's in. The curse on the men. The curse gets its hooks in deep on the Yelnats family. Yeah, it's hard to get rid of. Yeah. Do so. But uh, yeah, so that's when that happens. And then it goes back to uh, Stanley, and he's uh he's digging a hole, and then Zero quickly uh, finishes before everybody else does. And that's when everyone's like, he's like the fastest digger in the camp. He he's a mole. That. He's a mole. I think he eats the dirt. He eats the dirt. Yeah, mole don't eat dirt. dirt. He's like, moles really? don't eat dirt. Really? Moles eat dirt. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they, they, just, they make that uh, discovery. So uh, Shia, or Stanley finishes his hole, and then they go back into the camp. And that's when feeling mighty fine starts. <laughs> <laughs> feeling mighty. And, uh, he's writing a letter to his parents. And, uh, 
<laughs> lie into him completely. This is when we find out Squid is a total yeah, fucking that's spaz. We, that's when we first started our, our concern for Squid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that guy's got some, some issues. This is when we had to take a step back. Yeah, we were like, Some something's wrong with Squid. Like I don't even I'm not even angry with him. I just I just want to help him. <laughs> and he so he so Stanley writes his, his his fabricated letter to his parents and then Squid takes it out of his hands and he's like Oh yeah, you missed your mom and dad. He throws it in the in the trash. He's like, <laughs> sure. they're glad to be rid of you. <laughs> they're glad. To and be that's whoa, we, man. We're like, what's wrong with Squid? Is that when? Um, that's not when. Okay, that's not when Zero shows concerning signs of violence, right? No, that's later. That's later. That's later. later. That too. Uh, Zero might be a psychopath. <laughs> that's that's not, that's, that's, that's like right when. That's when he gets, the name gets Kate, his nickname, man. man. Yeah. Oh, another. We were just as we're since we're talking about zero. Uh, Cleo Thomas, the actor that p- played him, he celebrated his bomb mitzvah when they were filming holes. Mazel tov, baby. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Well, hi, um. <laughs> and all and all that. <laughs> one thing. One thing that I know we skipped over, and I made a note about it, is when um, Mr. Sir comes up to Stanley when he comes back at night. <laughs> oh, oh yeah! Man. I wrote that down. If I didn't There's um, <laughs> the Yale spot lizard. Yeah, and uh, Mr. Having, Sir, Mr. Sir, like he freaking life. Chris Kyle about that. He saved his yeah. life. He's having a goddamn like Wild West he shootout. He save his life, but he he's just creeping around. <laughs> he was like, he's like stance he with the gun. So, like, <laughs> he looks so high on some something, sunflower seeds and cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get you fucking zig- rolling. Zigzag, around. zigzag afterwards, like. What color was his blood? Fucking <laughs> 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 psychopath. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, he's like, get yourself a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was his thing. He was the psycho guy. Yeah, he was the crazy one. <laughs> his name was Marion. With a name like Zigzag. Yeah, Zigzag was crazy. Yeah. Marion. It's like Schizo from <laughs> Days Gone. Days Gone. <laughs> With a name like that, yeah. you're fucking tweaking. So after feeling mighty fine plays, uh. Shia finds, or Stanley finds a fossil with little fishies on it. Oh, look at little fishies. Little, little fishies. <laughs> and then our armpit. He's like, <clears throat> armpit. Yeah. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> Page that, two. We, we, we visit uh, Sam and kissing Kate Mara. Sam. Before she was kissing Kate Mara. She this is when we're first KB, introduced to him, right? Yes. Yep. And uh, that's when, uh, so he, he comes in with his 100-year-old horse or mule. <laughs> The, don- the donkey's name in real life was Shadow. Shadow. <laughs> that's a cute, that's a cute name. I what they call it in the movie. But uh, yes. And he feeds uh, the You don't he believe he just onions, asked Mary Lou. Nothing but onions. Onions all, all the time. Strange diet. Onions. onions. And then these, these, cowboys, the these cowboys pull up. And they, and they have a, a fellow dead cowboy like in the back, <laughs> back, <laughs> back of the wagon. wagon. And they're like. And he's like, you? I guess your friend over there wasn't so smart. Because they were onions, there, to, or yellow, yellow spotted lizards don't like my onions. Or something. <laughs> they were there to yeah. buy like some elixir or something, <laughs> and it looks like your friend there wasn't so smart. Like, that's my fucking me, my what? dead friend back there that I know my whole life. That's my yeah, best we friend. Yeah, we, yeah, we didn't poke friend <laughs> or poke fun. Excuse me. Okay, so this guy Sam, his Sam. onions could just do whatever. Like yeah. they were powerful. They were it's gigantic. A, I think it's a slightly a magical world that they lived in. Yeah, yeah. slightly magical. And they got the cure for COVID. Fan, they, fan theory, got, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe Sam onions. did some witchcraft as well, onions. like some Zeroni style witchcraft yeah. to grow. She was a witch. Gigantic. She was a witch. He, it was either that or like witch. growth hormone and these fucking onions because they were the size of like softballs. <laughs> they were gigantic too, dude. Yeah. Maybe they get That's that true. big, and I'm just an idiot. Yeah, I mean, I've I seen some big know. onions, but man, they. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've never seen anything in my life. I don't. I don't know. But let's uh, move on from that. Uh, oh, so that's when uh, they're still they go back to present day, and uh, Stanley is digging a hole, and that's when X Ray shows up, and he's like, "That's some lame crap you pulled with the fossil." Yeah, and then yeah. Like, if you find anything, you give it to me. He's, he's Nerd. A jerk I, I've time, been here right? longer. That's yeah. fair, right? No, it's not fair. No. Yeah. They surely... should say that they all found it simultaneously, so then everybody gets yeah, the day off. Because that, that, that been... that's their big policy: is if you D- find something, D-tent found if, this. If, if you find something mystery. cool, yeah. then you get the day off. Yeah, no, X-ray X- has been there longer than anybody. Which plays, which obviously. plays into Sigourney Weaver's whole motive. Yeah. Which uh, brings us to uh, 
Now this is this is the part we referenced earlier when Stanley's walking through uh, the pool room or the I guess the leisure <laughs> room when they're, they're watching like a shitty TV and they're playing pool and shitty darts and they have the shitty pool <laughs> table in their yeah. shitty bowling alley. Shitty bowling. <laughs> Everything <laughs> sucks. Yeah. Camp, then, Camp Green Lake. <laughs> Camp Green Stanley Lake. gets in the way of this big tough guy. <laughs> He's like, "You watch it," and Stanley's like. You watch it, man. They try to be tough. The way he said you watch it, man, he like wanted to say it, but he didn't want the guy to hear yeah. him. Like, you watch yeah. it. Like, that guy clearly. Watch it, man. So the rest of D-Tent saved Stanley from a beating. They do. That they guy really clearly do. They like, swooped did in. something really bad. And that's like one of the flip-flop moments that I mentioned earlier where they're like, yo, man, we got to. Like, got a lot he's of our dog. Perpetrators out there. <laughs> earlier they're like shitting on him. But yeah. I think, well, they're just defending their boy. Yeah. The tents kind of have, they probably have their it's own a, cliques. They probably yeah. do. Yeah. You gotta think about, you know, I wonder which yeah. tent social Spence groups there. And he's yeah. the new guy, they're giving him a hard time. Yeah. Hazel. Yeah. Casual <laughs> hazel. But hazel. this was when I mentioned the concern of violence with Zero. As soon as there's like a mild, like, grappling scuffle, Zero grabs a pool ball off the table oh, like yeah. it's fucking gonna kill a guy. casino yeah, so that's the or first something. instance of Zero being a potential. Like a he's Michael dangerous. Myers. He's, he's dangerous. Potentially being dangerous. He's dangerous. He's, he's yeah. dangerous. Zero killed a guy. Yeah, Zero may have killed a guy. <laughs> Another thing low. about Zero, the actor that played Zero, Cleo Thomas, um, he didn't like realize how like big of like a fan favorite Zero was going to be until he like saw the like edit afterward. Because oh, like yeah. the way the script was wrote and stuff, he was like, in an interview, I think he was like pleasantly surprised that... Yeah. A lot of characters. It was such a, a yeah, it was such a I big think, character. I don't think anybody would have guessed what I mean, Holes is pretty popular. Yeah. Hole, yeah. Hole, it's kind of a cult following. Yeah, it's a cult. I mean, I mean it's, it's a classic book. For man. a movie to make seventy one million dollars. Yeah. It's pretty fucking big. Yeah, pretty I good. think it's a lot of it has to do with why the book was so popular, I think. Exactly. And uh, that's why Sigourney Weaver did the movie is because it was a, her daughter's favorite book. Yeah. Agreed. Fun fact. Yeah. Ooh. Twist that Sorry, top I off, Cole. I grabbed another one. I snuck another one when you guys were looking. Yeah. I should have got it. I should have brought it. Yeah, there's a second. I always have a backup. <laughs> Gotta have a reload. <laughs> but, uh, so he gets the name Caveman. He's like, just, oh, from being, caveman. just from being, just from being, like, standing up for himself. Just standing up for that, that murderer in, in, in E-Tent. Eat. I would assume. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He's in B-Tent, dude. Some inferior he's a, tent. He's a, a B-Tenter? I bet he is. He's, he looks he's like a B-Tenter. B-tenter. Yeah. Fucking a tent. Are you pissing over there? Yeah. All right. So after that, <laughs> uh, that's when they're all sitting in like a circle in D tent with Pandensky. Yeah. And uh, that's when they, we get Magnet's story, which is uh, in my family. Uh, this scene's pretty iconic, actually. So Magnet. Because your brother is also. Your brother's cause, all yeah, loves Because we reference this scene gets referenced a lot. So. Oh. Mag- they, he, so it's I don't remember if it's X-ray that says it, or, or, but he's talking about Magnet. And he's like, they wanted a no, oh, it's Squid. They wanted a thousand bucks for just one puppy, and then Magnet's like, I would have made it out if my pocket didn't start barking. And then he has the most <laughs> ridiculous laugh. It's like, <laughs> 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 yeah. I think yeah, I remember. I remember Colin doing this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is like Colin's favorite. No way. <laughs> I think I. He remembers this movie every day of his life. Yeah. I remember watching it with him when we lived together like three or four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. This, it this is, is a great movie. Cool. It's, it's really good. I'm glad. It, I had a lot of fun just watching it before this. Yeah. This, uh, yeah. And it, uh, yeah, it's beautiful anyway. <laughs> it's a beautiful movie. It's a beautiful movie. Let's not cry about it. It's a, it's a beautiful movie. After that, uh, mom, uh, Shia's mom, writes back to him. <laughs> That's when the little old lady lives in the shoe joke occurs. <laughs> smelled real bad. I feel bad for the little old lady that lived in the shoe. I bet it <laughs> smelled really bad. Smelled He's real bad. Hawkland in his tent by himself reading that. He kind of lost. He it pissed his first. pants, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. This is when we learned that he zero. Like this is when we learned zero can't read, yeah. right? Zero can't read. He's like, I, I don't feel comfortable with you uh, reading over my shoulder. And yeah, okay. First of all, what like, a dude, I used bitch, to sleep in a tunnel at the bitch park. Thing I can't read. Yeah, right? I mean, dude. Yeah. You been, you been to that park? Yeah, I used to sleep in the tunnel. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's, uh, I'm sure it was cozy. And he's like, Probably the cozy oh. spot. But, and, and, then, and then he asks him to teach him to read. And Stanley blows him off. Can you teach me to football? Can you teach me to read? Can you teach me to read? 
And then Stanley's like, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to. He pretty much said, no, I don't want to. That's pretty much it. Can you imagine the undertaking it would be to teach somebody to read? Yeah, don't like put in that a, burden on me. Like this is not awesome. a child. Because apparently you can learn stuff better when you're a child, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like a young puppy, man. you know. You can't teach an old dog new tricks, you know. That's true. Yeah. That is true. I think that's where that phrase comes from. You know? That is a phrase. People do say that, yeah. That's, that's something that's I didn't make it up, so someone said it before. Well, no, I mean, yeah, I've heard it. So. Yeah. Well, so he says no. And then uh, it's the armpit dance after that when he's jiggling around outside. Now. Very random. <laughs> and then he, he's like, burp, 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 burp. and then he has his arm. And it's like, no, it smells too bad. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. Take a while while you shower. Coach. Hence the nickname armpit. Yeah. And then he's a stinky guy. He smells real bad. <laughs> so this this is significant. So they're all in their holes the next day, I would assume. And there's a cloud. And then was like, <laughs> oh, how about a little bit of shade, cloud? And then Mr. Sir is like, I'm going to tell you a story. There once was a magical <laughs> place that never rained. The end. The end. <laughs> there once was a magical place where and it never rained. he found rained. that so never funny, rained. but the no end. one else did. If I was there, I would have thought that was funny, I, I think. It probably sucks to be there, though, so maybe you'd be like, oh, fuck That's you, probably, fuck you. Probably fucking upper 90s every day. Can you imagine? Maybe probably more. Probably more, yeah. <laughs> it's, in the, the it's, in the, it's in the Mojave. Yeah, yeah. I, Patrolling the I Mojave. wouldn't want to hang to, and plus you're in those Makes suits, me wish for a nuclear winter. Those orange suits. They don't even get to wear like a short and a tee. That's true. In the trailers for this movie, when it first came out, like it didn't even like explain that they were at like a corrections camp it just showed them in the jumpsuits and everybody just knows what the jumpsuits mean Prison. yeah we yeah, should you don't wear that casual i was gonna mention this when we put the video up we'll have to insert a picture of cole's halloween costume because <laughs> he oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot him. absolutely <laughs> there's something on my insta <laughs> yeah, yeah. Been, that's a but good idea. it looked like it was like a good costume like yeah, a it was really good really good halloween you got costume. The, water, the water canteen yeah yeah the water yeah. did dress up like a fucking yeah, resident that was my best work of camp, camp green i peaked that night that's for sure that's too bad <laughs> that's too and bad halloween 2018 or something 2018 yeah I remember halloween 2017 that was when me and you went to as negan and rick grimes that was fun <laughs> yeah. yeah that got kind of wild that, <laughs> that did it was fun doing the fake blood and like splattering it. <laughs> I remember that night we went to like the liquor store on College Hill before, and we, I had like the fake blood on on me. And somebody like just got like beat up at or like punched at the liquor store before we got there. So some cops showed up, and one of them was like, "Hey, is this like Halloween stuff?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, it's Halloween stuff." It was, I was like, no. <laughs> "I looked like I just cut somebody in half with a chainsaw." <laughs> but he's like, is that, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that real blood? Yeah. What do you got on you? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't remember that. Was I there? <laughs> I think I think you you might have been inside. You might have been inside. <laughs> you just let you just stayed in the car. I I do get scared easily, especially on the hill. I, 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 the no, I think you were in the in the liquor store getting liquor. But so Shia. So after the look at the cl- look the cloud thing, uh, Shia finds. Uh, KB tuba lipstick uh, in the hole. Yes, the this is a big this is a big moment. Yeah, he notifies X Ray, which I wouldn't have done. Not no. after the little stun he pulled earlier. Not a chance, dude. No. What's he gonna do? And then Stanley acts surprised when X Ray's like, "Well, I'll just take this." And he's like, "What? No!" Like, why did you tell him? Like, you knew. Yeah, what he, remember he, what he, he said? Literally, like twenty minutes you. movie time ago. <laughs> twenty minutes movie time ago, he was like, Jesus Christ. "You gotta give that to me so I can get a break." Yeah. I've been here six months. I would have showed. I, I would have showed zero, maybe magnet. He seems kind of one. Well, magnet might have stolen. Magnet was stolen. <laughs> His hands were like magnets. Like magnets. Mm-hmm. Then then I, don't even, I don't even know who I'd tell. Mm. If Twitch was there, I'd tell Twitch. But Twitch isn't there yet. Yeah, because he, he, he would steal he, it he's, too. <laughs> he's, uh, he's only he's only interested in cars. I thought. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's just a car guy. I go, Whoa. Whoa, I see. I Vroom. saw that. I saw that convertible Mustang. Vroom. <laughs> Vroom. Yeah. Vroom. Vroom. <laughs> And that's when so. we're introduced to uh, Keith Barringer as well, uh, who was in Zigzag's math class. Yes. <laughs> His math class. That's what KB stands yeah. for. Yeah, yeah that's but Keith Barringer. If you're paying attention, you would know that that was Kate Barlow. Kiss and Kate yes. Barlow. He doesn't from Zigzag our, don't from know our, know our flashbacks. History. He just knows who was in his math class, I guess. Zigzag's not a not a bright guy. 
No. No, he's he a crazy like person. A, like, he seems like a loose cannon. Yeah, he's a well, loose he's cannon. Kind of, he's the Him one that was all into the blood. The well, he iguana. got in that fight with... Lizard he, blood. He, he, he pitched... Or he, he, yeah, he was part he of was that. He was all lizard blood. And he's the one that got in the fight with Stanley and Zero later in yeah. the picture. That's true. Yeah. We'll reference that later. So what's Zigzag's problem? So what's his yeah. issue too? We got a couple guys, guys that were very questionable. I'm starting now. to think this camp full of near this correctional's camp full of near do wells might have some characters in it that are they ne'er do well. Right. Not doing the ne'er right thing. Ne'er do well and they ne'er do it. So, then, uh, ne'er. so the next day, uh, X-ray gives uh, Pandansky uh, the uh, he shows him the two blue stick and he calls him the <laughs> warden. We got something nice, he says, and that's when Sigourney Weaver. We're introduced to Sigourney. Car. Yep, I read uh, her car was like a 1950 something um, Chevy. Like I think it started with a V. It was like I don't think it was a Voyager, but it was something like that. But it was when Chevy Voyager. I don't think so. Oh. Maybe it was. But it was it said that it had like buttons to change the gears besides like a regular gear shift. So I thought that was kind of funny. Like That's how it. some of oh, the brand new cars now have like buttons to change yeah. the well, gears. Like a dial. But that 1950s car had it, so that was kind of interesting. Interesting. So she flies in in this old whip. She fucking just, just, just rockets in there. To this point, head. are we assuming that the warden is a man? Yes. So it's kind but, of a yes. Nice, I think back in two thousand three. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. You used to. Yeah. And then they were calling her Lou this whole time, which, which is, you know, typically a man's name. Yeah. Kind of like how Mar- Marion is a woman's name typically. <laughs> the Mister Sir. Typically. And so, uh, so she she whips in, and then uh, she's looking, you know, hot as ever. And then uh, that's when she takes the stupid lipstick from X Ray, and that's when she <laughs> that's when she's all give give him double shower tokens and a snack, and, and, then, a and snack. then she winks at him very seductively. Mm. So you know what happened. You next. know what the snack was: some cookies, some, yeah. <laughs> cookies some and what? Milf. Cookies and, then, and milf. Uh, that's when she gets mad at Pandansky for not filling the canteens properly. Can you hear the empty spices? Yeah. I like, can yes, hear. I can hear. And she really went in on it. I already too. feel. She was trying to be like the good guy. Yeah, she um, she was like in the mood for humiliating him. I think. Yeah, yeah. she was just feeling it. Yeah, she felt good that day with the uh, with the with the uh, KB, and that okay. So we kind of. Uh, skipped over a part, but the re- so they start digging for treasure. The the big holes, like the tunnels, they they bring out wheelbarrows, and everyone's just digging in that area all day, every day, instead of just individual holes. In, 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 and, oh. and the re- so, and they thought so, so. They waited a day for X ray to give the war. So you can get the full day off. So they got the yeah, so they can get the full day off. Yeah, so genius, they moved, genius idea. They moved way. away from the treasure, which is why they didn't find the treasure precisely at that moment. That's just something. I would like to say and that's kind of smart so they do that and then she's all you know i have a good feeling about this i can feel it and then that's at the end of the day this is the part where they all are just walking back to detent and then stanley's detent? all how does she know my name is caveman and that's when we it's revealed oh she has cameras everywhere she's got Zig, a zigzag which you can't be trusted no he's a, no he's a rat he's got in the shower so he he's a rat and he's a psychopath they got cameras so many, in the showers, man. So many bad yeah. qualities. What kind of place is this? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. You see Stanley looking for the camera, and then it goes <laughs> back to uh, Sam and KB. Uh, she's teaching class, and that's when she walks in, and uh, it's a leak, leaky roof, mm. and it's leak, leaking into like a teapot. And Stan, or not Stanley, but Sam, Sam is all I can fix that. It's the first I can fix, I that, can fix that of the movie. I can fix that. And then she's like, "Oh, well, sure." And then she, he, he, you know, he grabs a hammer, hammer and a nail, you know, stacking the nails. <laughs> I can fix that. And all that. And then he guarantees the roof for five years. And then <laughs> that's not <laughs> can you really guarantee a roof for five years. Sam that's not did. long in roof. And that's not very long. It's not very long in roof time. It's not very long in roof time. It was. Is the he eight, gonna come back in five years and fix it that? It was or? the eighteen hundreds. It was a long time ago. They probably didn't have. Maybe ceilings. it was like. At that time, it's like, oh, five years? That's well, like three five, more than I expected. Oh, my. Oh, my. Like oh my. Yeah, you'd think so. Yeah. yeah. I I'm, I, it's, it's obvious that Sam is a good guy. But I have to question, because he's like shilling his like onions and stuff and telling people they're going to live forever. But I guess there could be magical. 
So maybe they're magical. And uh, he, he he had like his. Uh, they, they can cure COVID. There was also that I forgot to mention earlier. There was a cameo from the author of the book. <laughs> yes. He he walks up when Lewis Carr shout out. Yep, he walks up when um, Sam's giving a sales pitch to people, and he's like, "Here's a some oil for that male pattern baldness or whatever." <laughs> and effort, and Lewis Carr is like, his only line is, I "Want to see my head or something?" <laughs> my, my head, my head, my <laughs> head. Yes, sir. I just thought. Just now. Yeah. So you think like kissing Kate Barlow like had access to, to those onions? Like even after Sam was dead, you think she was still eating those onions? Could have been. Um, I'm sure she had. So young. That's I'm what sure. I was about to say. Because when he because when she's in the middle of nowhere she looks so with young. Trout and Trout's <laughs> wife who was like a, yeah. a student. Yeah. She looks the same. But Whoa. Trout's an old man. And what a theory. You think that's? I, I just Maybe that was yeah. the treasure. I feel like too. that. I feel like they didn't. Maybe do that the on, onions were the treasure all along. I think they didn't do that on purpose, but I think that makes sense. However, <laughs> does that mean that Stanley and Zero? Yeah, will still be that same. Wouldn't age? there be tons of people like all around that old West Town that lived for a long time or yeah. whatever? Oh yeah, true. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe there were. I'm starting, maybe there I'm were. Starting to think they just made a mistake. Maybe there were, because she didn't look old and Trout looked really old. Like and he people. and he and Sam he claims that his horse old. or his mule was over a hundred years old. Yeah, well, it could be bullshitting. But you, I'm assuming he was magical just onions. Bullshitting, but there's also the curse seemed to be real, and Madame Zeroni seemed to be like a real witch. That's true, you know. And magic times, and like destiny, and, and like, Ram and there was Ram like destiny that they met each other from the shoes falling and yeah. stuff. So, did destiny come in to stop the curse? Is that I, I would yes. say destiny is more powerful than a curse. Than a cur- oh, yeah. It seems. It it's seems like to be. Like if this it's, movie it's proved, going to happen, if this movie proved anything, because a destiny is like a higher power, yeah. and a curse is just a person. Yeah, it's like making yeah. something. It's like when the Cubs won the World Series oh, in 2016. God. Yeah. So Chris Bryant almost tripped because that was the curse trying to trip him, but he didn't trip. He did. He made that throw to Bryant or to Terizzo in the yep. in first base. That team got fucking and, massacred. And Indians before the three one lead. deadline this last couple of days. Well, let's, that's not what I'm talking about. 2016, where things mattered. <laughs> not now. Let's move on from that. Yes. Uh, so there were cameras in the shower, and we. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. So then we visit the night school with with uh, uh, KB. Yeah. That's when we get the line: the duck. May swim on the lake, <laughs> but my daddy owns, owns the lake, lake, and that's Trout Walker. Which trying he, to flex. Kind of. Trying, trying, he's being an asshole. Yeah, he, he is flexing. He has a gold tooth. He's got a gold tooth. Probably but, the only one in town. But on a sad note, that yeah, act, the gold. actor that played that guy, his name is Scott Plank, and he unfortunately passed away from a injury sustained in a car accident shortly after this was done, or shortly around the time. of. I didn't see specifically when it happened, yeah, but... The film was dedicated to him because of that, and it was kind of funny because we always say that the duck may swim on the lake, but my dad my owns daddy the lake. Owns daddy the lake. Owns the lake. But the movie was dedicated to the guy that passed. That's crazy. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that is unfortunate. He played a pretty good character too. Yeah, he was funny. <laughs> he, was, he was perfect. In every in every age progression that he went through, he played. I mean, he played his role really well. Yep. Yeah, R.I.P. R.I.P. Rest in peace. Yeah. So we uh, punch back to. Uh, them digging the big the tunnels and like still looking for the treasure yep. of uh, the warden, and that's when uh, uh, Doctor Pendensky says, "You know the ancient Mesopotamians <laughs> didn't have shells. You know, they didn't have shells. We never learned the rest of that story. That's all that we heard him say. That's all he said. Right? What did they do with them? They didn't have shovels. So I don't know how they dug back then. <laughs> but uh, but uh, so they try. So uh, it's armpit." He finds like looks like a dial for like a fucking washing, washing machine. machine. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, this and then uh, the warden's like, "Are you trying to be funny or do you think I'm stupid?" And the harp is like, "No, man, I wasn't trying to be funny." <laughs> <laughs> and then, so he he That's loses his shower tokens. Fun. Oof. For that reason, which to everybody's dismay, because he uh, already smells chagrin. bad. Enough. His, his name's Armpit. His name's Armpit. He clearly smells bad when he lifts his arms when he's. In a Hence groove. the song. Yeah. So. You know that happens later, 
And then, uh, so, uh, KB's crying on a book. <laughs> she's, dirt, she's, like, crying directly, like... Directly yeah. on top of it. In, in, She's allowing tears to fall off her face. How convenient of Sam to be strolling through the school at that yeah. time. Yeah. You, think, you think a teacher would take better care of books. Yeah. Which brings so, Also, why was she there? Go home. Yeah, doesn't she have, like, she's a house? She's nighttime. Or she's no. sleeping at her desk. Maybe, maybe Teachers but, don't live in schools. No, that's did they live ridiculous. at the school back then? <laughs> no way. Maybe they did. Who knows? Probably. It was like one maybe room, so maybe they didn't. But he comes up and he's like, "I can fix that." Exactly. The third one of the. Time we kept I can going. Fix that. Movie. Which what he what he's really saying is my penis can fix that. Yeah, yeah he's like, hey, well, yeah, a girl. And he's so they, right. So they kiss, and the implication is that they do uh, fornicate in the school. I think. The but, implication. But none other than. Fucking Trout, the bad Trout. guy with the gold yeah, tooth. So the bigger question is, why is Trout riding around in the rain? And look, looking for look, her. I guess maybe he's looking for her because he's, he's a villain and he's a creep, but I mean, it's raining. Yeah. Trout. Trout's obviously another character of suspect. Yeah. What's from Trout's problem? What's his deal? Sus? What's Trout's deal? What's he got going on sus? over that noggin? You know, I want, I want some Trout lore. Yeah, let's, I, let's dive I into think, Trout's life a little bit. I think he likes to watch. I think he likes I, to watch. I mean, it, it pissed watcher. him off, though, when he saw Sam and uh, Kate yeah. taken out to the point where he burned down the school. Interracial love was like the worst he thing down possible a back then. Yeah, that can, 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 can do that. <laughs> that's for everybody. Is that, ju- is that jumping ahead? No, that's basically next. Uh, the only thing in between that is, uh, there is no kindergartners in the sandbox. I want to see some a- effort here. <laughs> oh, yeah, <they> <laughs> Is that you them? You better tell them to dig faster or yeah. you'll be digging. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what the warden says. They, right? they jump back to that real quick, and then it's quickly back to the school getting burned. And then she runs to the sheriff. She's like, Sheriff, Sheriff, no. And then the sheriff's drunk. <laughs> He's like fucking <laughs> sloshed. <laughs> Looks her in the face He's like, and says, Give me a kiss. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> It's so fucking absurd. It made us laugh so hard. Like, what what? is part of the movie? <laughs> He's like, he doesn't say give, anything else. Just give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> give, me, give, give me a kiss. <laughs> smooth guy. Smooth guy. Really, really smooth. Like, where are you going? <laughs> smooth guy. Wait. <laughs> you gotta give it to him. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? <laughs> but then, so uh, she runs back out, and uh, Trout and his, and his goons, his 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 you know his posse. Yeah. His, uh, his, uh, what's the word? That was, I, think that was, I think that was a posse. That was a straight up posse. They were on it a, probably was. It was a posse like a back posse. then. Yeah. I didn't call it a posse. That'd be a posse. Yeah. Round up the gang or a gang. Or a gang for sure. Yeah. 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 Like on a boat, a motorized boat. A steam power boat, I believe. Steam powered, yeah. Steam powered. Yeah. The fanciest of fanciest. And, uh, they find uh, Sam uh, rowing his boat, his, his Mary Lou. He was absolutely oblivious to yeah, the. He had no idea what was going on. To he, the school getting burnt down and everything. He was just having a good day. It's too bad. He, he had a had sex with that school teacher. He yeah, his his boat was full of produce. Onions Probably yeah, peaches. picked a lot of onions, I assume, and yep. peaches. And then so he gets shot, and that's pretty much the uh, start of kissing Kate Barlow. That will, I mean, we've already been introduced to that. Mm-hmm. Well, then after that, we go back to uh, you know Camp Green Lake, and Mr. Sir says we're going back to individual hoes. Oh, so they go back to individual. that individual. And it's immediately right back to KB, and uh, she's dressing all in red. She looks very fancier than she did before. Yeah. She's fancier as a murderer, as a trafficking murderer, murderer. and as a school teacher. She had her lipstick on and everything. And uh, she uh, uh, shoots him, shoots him, not in the head. I don't know where she shoots him, but how she would shoots you, him. How would you like that key? Yeah. And he's like, he's, oh, he's I need like, you to come like, around. <laughs> I would like that kiss, thank you. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't make it after that. But that's when he the passed. legend starts because she placed a lipstick-filled kiss on his cheek, yes. and then she, she only r- kissed r- the men she killed. She rides off with her her own posse. And if uh, kissing K. Barlow would have kissed Stanley Ellis the first, Stanley Ellis the fourth would have never been born. That's true. That's true. Because she only kisses the one she kills. She only kisses the, she one, only she kisses kills. the one she kills. Yep, that's important. Yeah. She killed the sheriff. And then, uh, so this is the part where a magnet uh, steals some sunflower seeds from Mr. Sir's truck. Yep. And then some shenanigans ensue. And then, uh, so Mr. Sir 
immediately realizes. Whip, he, whips <laughs> he drives off into the desert, smart. whips the shitty. <laughs> Comes back. And everyone's just uh, trying to be cool. And he immediately walks up to Caveman's Hole and sees the bag of sand. Or bag of sand. Bag of sand. Some of feel saying. like bags of sand. Bags of sand. He probably saw Stanley freaking the fuck out and like brushing him yeah. everywhere and then like doing like, the quick lay down yeah. attack. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I would assume. <laughs> and then he's like, well, let's go show the warden what you found. And he brings and Mr. Sir and Stanley go back to the warden. And the warden expects to see some treasure. I assume that's what she was thinking. And then uh, it's revealed that uh, to her that uh, it's Stanley just stole some sunflower seeds out of his truck. And, uh, you know, uh, Sigourney Weaver put some poisonous nail polish on her nails from a... From a Only vendor. poisonous when wet. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's completely harmless only, when it's dry. Only when say, wet. When it's dry. Yes. Yeah. But she uh, fucking scrapes Mr. Sir with them. Got him good. Got him like, great. Like uh, fucking cat lady style. Yeah, cat lady. Or the, like Wolverine. The, the cheetah. Yeah. yeah. Got right in the... And then he starts like, God oh, damn. man, I, I, I all I nothing. give you is love and affection. <laughs> I'm nothing but nice to you. Yeah. Man. Mr. Sir was simping for the warden. Oh, he's, he's oh, for a sure. simp god for yeah. sure. For sure, yes. And, oh, uh, and then... Uh, the warden's like, why don't you just go back to your hole to Shia? And Shia goes back to his hole. And uh, really nothing happened. He doesn't really get punished for that. But Zero digs uh, his hole while he's gone. Yep. Which was Which nice leads of him. To, Which leads to Caveman saying, well, hey, I can teach you how to read if yep. you want me to. If you still want me to, I can teach you how to read. I can find some time. And then uh, after that, uh, we go to lunch. And that's when uh, Mr. Sir is at lunch and Squid sees his face. And Squid's like, what happened to your face? What happened to your face? Yeah, and Mr. Was, Sir pulls him over to the yeah. pot of mysteriously bubbling goo. <laughs> the, they're like, disgusting I, beans. I think I'm pretty, don't you? I think I'm kind of pretty, don't you? <laughs> Everyone's like, yes, Mr. Sir. Anybody else is still rolling my face? <laughs> and then he, like, hucks him across the room. <laughs> Clean this yeah. up. You know, I read once that uh, that took 14 times. So squid got thrown to the ground fourteen times. Was it a stunt squid? And it was the real. According to the real squid, it was the real squid. Oh wow! Like wow. he said that. It took Impressive. 14, yeah. It's a lot of th- a lot of times to get thrown across the room. <laughs> yeah, I probably get tired. Hope he's it. okay. I, I think he's in a wheelchair now, but uh, that's so tough. We'll, we'll, that's we'll, fucking. Hey, hey man, that's that's that. it's tough business. At least he's in holes. Yeah, well, yeah being <laughs> being in holes was worth it. Probably. Squid was probably his best role. Yeah. And then, uh, so Mr. Sir doesn't give, doesn't give Cayman any water because his face hurts. He's, he just kind of runs the water. He's bitter about, he's, he's bitter about the whole <laughs> sunflower seed and then we learn, fiasco. We learn that, uh, uh, Zero's real name is Hector Zeroni. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, while, while he's being taught to, uh, to read. Isn't it, Stanley like, <gasps> Zeroni? <gasps> Wait a minute. I don't. It or does like, he not really say not, It's like he didn't even... He should know who's a, like a yeah. Zeroni name, but he acted Madame like Zeroni. he didn't really know. Yeah. yeah, maybe he's too focused on teaching. Maybe, and teaching is probably... BJ, I think you can talk on this. Is, is is teaching a tough business? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, after that, Zero almost kills ZigZag. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, first of all, Pendanski is running a fight club there. Can we talk about... Yeah. I mean, he was encouraging we, them. We He's forgot like, to mention earlier, I can't believe we forgot to mention this quote earlier, um, when... Stanley first gets to camp and they're like walking around. He's like walking around and giving him the tour. You may remember from our intro clip when he's introducing oh, him to Zero. <laughs> like, There's nothing going on it's and he's stupid, stupid little head. head. I, yeah, I fucking as, forgot about that. As, 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 another, you're, as you were saying, Beach, with. I wrote another Pendansky quote down that I'll read here. Um, he said, uh, Puke from a meal, been fumigating on asparagus. <laughs> yes. I. I forgot. I forgot. You get it, so I didn't say it. You're like, what is that? For two yeah. weeks. <gasps> oh, I yeah. Don't even... We'll get zigzag tripping when Pedansky's there. Is, um, he's not digging his ho- own holes anymore. Zero's helping dig Stanley's holes because yeah. he's helping him learn how to read. Oh, it must zig- be nice. He's such a jerk, man. And then that's yes. when Pendanski's like egging on Stanley to <laughs> hit him back. Like, what are you going to do about fight, it, fight back? Stanley? <laughs> yeah, he's, he 
he wants this to happen, clearly. I, I mean, he's supposed to be the camp counselor, yeah. correct? He's and, supposed to be. For I mean, detent. He should well, be, he should be the one though? trying you know to make him better people. He's not a real doctor. He's not a real doctor. That, yes, that's, that's 100% yeah, so. no, that could be it. But yeah, so Zero almost chokes out Zigzag, and then our pitch tries to, uh, you know, break it up. And, that, and then Zigzag knocked Caveman out cold. Yeah, punched, punched yeah. him. I mean, on his Fucking face. Cold man, er, cold man. Caveman was on his face. Cold man. Out cold, cold, cold man. Like the, uh, the cooler. Coleman. <laughs> yeah, like the cooler. Cole, yeah. Coleman. Coleman, yeah. Or like Rick Coleman, the uh, sports, almost said weatherman, but he's a sports he's guy. He's a sports guy. guy. Don't <laughs> no, you miss yeah. a line, Rick. Rick. Coleman. Schnack. Met him. We should get, we should get Schnack on this show. He would, he, he would call in. Shout out Schnack. <laughs> Shout out Schnack. You know, I have a picture with him at Derringer's. Really? No yes. way. Yeah. I'm going to show, show it right now. All right. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what did I say? Zigzag, Zigzag died. He didn't really die. But then the warden shows up. He's and a rat. He's a rat, and then he rats to the warden. And that's when uh, D-I-G, what's that spell? And then uh, Zero hits uh, Pandesky with a shovel, little Nicky style. If it was anything, Got little, good. little Nicky, his face would be all fucked up. Yeah. So he choked out Zigzag, and then like... Ten minutes later, he bashes Pendensky in the face with a fucking shovel. Yeah, and so, he was gonna crack somebody's skull. And, and then there was the pool, pool ball, ball thing. Yeah, he's he has he, he's that guy's dangerous. We call Zigzag a loose cannon, but Zero's kind of a loose cannon I mean, too. He, he has mm-hmm. keep but he was he was, guy, he was you know? pretty, he was I mean he lived in the he lived in the tunnel, tunnel at the park. Yeah, yeah, probably doggy dog world out there. I would assume <laughs> it's tough out there. It's hard out here for a Zero. Yeah, Pump. Zero. You know what? That's Maybe that's why his name is Zero. It's hard out here for Zero. There's nothing going on in this stupid little head. Yeah. Word. So Zero runs away, and then uh, we see uh, the warden, we see Mr. Sir, we see Pandensky talking about what are we going to do, and then they decide, well, Zero had no family. Let's just uh, get rid of his files, and he was never here. And that's when Pandensky's like, no one cares about Hector Zeroni. (laughs) (laughs) Stanley was like outside listening, I guess, and Mm -hmm. he gets like, I do. He said it really soft. The whole like. Uh, I, I do care about Hector. <laughs> I care about Hector. The the counselors and the warden like wanting to throw away his paperwork and everything. That's like, and they don't go after him to try to get him back. Like you're responsible for their. They're not even their kids. They're under eighteen, right? Oh, yeah. And they let him run off because he's he assaulted one of the counselors. That happens in correction facilities all the time. All the time. But. As we know, this only exists so Sigourney Weaver can find treasure, so we can't expect them. She only cares about the treasure. Yeah. That's for certain. Yeah. So we go back to the camp in D, or D-Tent, and uh, that's when D-tent? that's when we sh- we see another glimpse of Zigzag's fucking craziness. <laughs> you guys <laughs> a psychopath. I, they, I bet <laughs> they're talking about Zero. Someone says... He's buzzard food. I think Squid says he's buzzard food. He's buzzard food. Zigzag's like... Squid guy's own problems. Well, yeah. first of all, I'm still, I'm still concerned about Squid, but uh, then Zigzag's all... I bet they pick out the eyeballs first. <laughs> wrong with that Zigzag. is just dark, yeah. dude. Someone's got to talk. I, I like Zigs, but he needs to relax. Zig's a good guy. Yeah. You can't go that far, man. This is one of your, you're your colleague. That's your boy. Yeah. That's your boy, Caveman. Come on, man. Yeah. And then they kind of... Uh, jumps back to uh, Stanley Ellis the first, and that's when we learned he found refuge on God's thumb, which we don't know what that is yet. But then Twitch arrives in the bus. Yeah, <laughs> Twitch is a kid. Breath fresher. Yeah, you know what? He was a good. Energy. He was a good replacement for Zero. Energy. You know, you know he wasn't the same as Zero. He's he the opposite. A, he he talked a, a lot. He had a visor. And he had a visor. He did wear a visor, and you know what? I thought that was a good look. Yeah, it they, worked, they it did it for him. He saw. He saw like a verbal Mustang. <laughs> Woo, vroom. Vroom. <laughs> vroom. <laughs> I thought they did a really good job mixing it up with the the headwear yeah. that each character had. It was kind of yeah. specific Every, to the character. Yeah, the, and, the characters all had like their own. They they did a pretty good job with like the character development. Like not development because nobody really develops besides the main people. The main but everybody too. has their own like personality, which is yeah. kind of I did, I impressive think every, I think for everyone a little, develops, little Disney movie. I think everyone develops except like yeah, Mr. we kind of we kind of mentioned yeah, we kind of mentioned earlier that. A couple of people have like X-ray. Like you, you learn by they the end of the movie, better. X-ray and armpit. All those guys, maybe not Zigzag and Squid. They're already psychopaths. Like, they're like too far gone. Yeah. But everyone else is like, you know good, what? 
good people. They, they want to be good. Armpit wants to be better. And X Ray wants to be better. Too. Yeah. And Twitch isn't a bad kid. He just made a bad mistake. And he knows how to steal cards. It's, it was a convertible Mustang. Yeah. Vroom. I'd probably steal that too. <laughs> I started twitching too. But yeah, they go. Twitch you arrives. Be which, so Twitch arrives, and that gives Caveman the idea to steal the truck. So the very next scene, oh, yeah. him and Twitch, or someone's just. Someone, I think it's X Ray and somebody are planning to fight. Which distracts Mr. Sir, which allows Caveman to get into the truck. And Twitch is like guiding him there. And Caveman steals the truck and he ends up in the hole. Yeah, he crashes into a hole. And we were debating if that truck would actually have airbags or not. <laughs> but that would be quite the impact to drive five feet yeah. straight down, like into a wall. I mean, he yeah. had to have had some serious. He like crawled out of there and he like kind of stumbled. He had to have some serious yeah. head damage there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's lucky to be, be good. So he, now, he was lucky to a lot of waste and run out of there. Too. Yep. Now, so now both Stanley and Zero are in the desert. Like Zero's been in the desert for a couple of days at this point, right? Yes, he's been eating nothing but sploosh. Nothing but sploosh, which is like a hundred-year-old peaches. Peaches, yeah. In, in, in a boat, I found when I was looking up stuff about this movie, I found a recipe for kissing Kate Marlowe's spiced peaches. <laughs> <laughs> you, ne- you need one can of peach halves. Two thirds cup of apple cider, quarter cup of light brown sugar, and a pinch of salt. Wow! Honestly, those sound delicious. We should, uh, we should, we should oh, try that. Oh, we should, we should. I'd be open to that. But yeah, so he we do a these. Food for every episode. Oh, I like that. Cooking up, I like that. I like that. All right, so I like that. Hey, so leave some sploosh. And then, you know, Caveman's all, I think we should get back to camp, you know, we could, you know, fucking die out here or whatever. Shut up. <laughs> and Zero's like, what's Mary Lou? And then they go, it's revealed that the boat says Mary Lou, which was Sam's boat. Oh, yeah. A hundred <laughs> years ago. A hundred years. years ago. They meet up in the desert, by the way. Stanley, uh, Stanley. There's no lake. There's no real lake. Stanley sees the tipped over boat and he's like, oh, I'll go over there. And then he sees Zero's yeah. legs sticking out. And yeah. that's how they get reunited. The orange, the yes. Orange that's yep. where... Zero is. If I was zero, I would have been so pissed that he didn't have any water. Yeah, he's like, you got I any would water? Too. He's like, nah, he I took it too well. Like, yeah. I was going to drive the entire water truck here, but I went in a hole. I'm like, you fucking klutz. How? Come on. Yeah. Oh, and they. In the middle of nowhere. So they, they crack open the fucking jars in there, and we see it looks like the way he broke, zero broke it open. There's no, definitely no. glass. Oh, in the jar when it he. It is old glass. When he handed it to him, and then Stanley, like, drinks some, and he's like, hmm. Yum. Yeah. And they they made the and then Z, we, Zero says I call it sploosh, and what they made that out of that they like drank in that scene was like a combination of applesauce and molasses in that shitty little jar. <laughs> like mm, sploosh, like some molasses falling out of your mouth. Out of your mouth. Yeah, I remember Mr. Parson, our old math teacher in junior high. Shout out. Told us Shout that, told us teacher. a joke. He is a good teacher. Shout out to. To Justin Parsons. JP. And he told us a joke. It involved um, three moles. And they like climb a hole because they like smell something. I think it like some, they're having a barbecue in the yard. So three moles climb up a hole. And one's on top, one's in the middle, and one's on the bottom. And uh, I'm going to butcher this a little bit. But it's like, I, and the, the, the top one's like, I smell hamburgers. And the second one's like, I smell hot dogs. And the third one's like, I smell molasses. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's, That's, that was great. That is cute. That's a nice shout little out clean. To shout out to JP. Mr. Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> Special <laughs> joke. Great delivery, cool. Anyway, so they find refuge on God's thumb. Which is like a landmark in the mountains yeah, where when you hold it, looks like a thumb sticking up. If you were to hold your like right thumb up in front of your face yeah. that's what it looks like yeah not 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 a, not a real not a real landmark by the way <laughs> not real no. not real no, we thought it could be but it wasn't i thought i mean it looked very good. It I, looked good i remember it looking good when i was a child but watching yeah. it now it's very clearly not yeah it's cgi but they start climbing the mountain and it's like <laughs> don't give up Scaling. never give up which is my fa- personal favorite song in the whole movie don't give up Never again. God's up. thumb we is a sheer a sheer cliff <laughs> that they scaled with nothing but a shovel. 
<laughs> yeah, so that, yeah. A five, Straight a five foot like shovel. 90 degrees. Yeah, it shows like the background behind him would be like. But. Like a, it looks like the Grand Canyon's behind him, but the Shia, yeah. Shia LaBeouf's just like hanging off the side like he's at the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> but they did struggle because. Uh, Fly landed on your forehead. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, Caveman almost falls when and then Zero saves him with a shovel. That's when Zero's. Cuts his hands. Hands get all somehow with a shovel. I'd up. never cut myself on a shovel like that. Yeah, before, well, you, know. you ever saved a, a friend from falling he, off a cliff? It, I think good point. No, I haven't. <laughs> he cut his hands because he was like holding the blade. Yeah, and all yeah. The yeah. Was that, that is that is. It. I feel like you probably could have held it in a way to where it didn't hurt your hands, but I don't know. Yeah, well, zero. There's nothing going on in his stupid little head. That's so right. Like, yeah, that's true. He is. I forgot. But uh, he saves he saves the caveman and they continue walking. And this is I wrote. I wrote zero gets the Rona. So <laughs> zero. Yeah, yeah, he, does. he did get he did get Rona. He got the Delta. He starts variant. coughing. He pukes. You see some puke. Probably the hundred year old fruit. It probably had something to do with it. I mean, yeah. It probably had something to do with it, yes. So uh Shia starts carrying Zero up the mountain. And it's not very subtle here because you see Madame Zeroni saying you you carry Madame Zeroni up the mountain. So you kinda of feel yeah. that you get a sense of what's going on. So they're breaking the curse, but uh, so they get up to the top of the mountain and there's water. Uh, there's also frogs. Yeah, <laughs> up on top. Of up the on top of the mountain, there's there's a there's a family of frogs, and they start drinking this dirty ass water. It probably would have gave him diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, dysentery. My God. <laughs> and he wakes up Zero by throwing some water on him, and Zero. Instantly wakes up. Yeah, like he wasn't. It, it he was unconscious fine. for who knows how long. And then he's just yeah. fine. He just needed a little bit of water. He's, he's all right. He was dried out. Sometimes he's all you need is that little God's thumb water. He's a dry boy. You know, you know what? I've never had God's thumb water. So well, see, there. They, they need a. They need a bottle that. Yeah. Yeah. Bottle God's water. Yeah, they should bottle that and sell it in like Aquafina or something. <laughs> I'd buy it. I would buy it too. If, if there was like any like water. Referencing company calls. or something oh, God. called God's Thumb. God's Thumb I, Water. That would sell. I'd, pro- I'd probably buy it. Trademark that would, it. Heard it here first. That would sell. Aim for the Bushes pod. Can't steal it. Have you guys, have you guys seen that? Um, it's like the canned water. And I, I think I have one actually, but it's... Um, I can't remember I what the, seen, what seen the fuck water. it's called. It's, it says like, it's like murder your thirst. And it's... Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's just funny to see how people... Market water differently to get yeah. people to drink it. Yeah. yeah, I don't get that at all. <laughs> and they start eating the onions, which are just apples. I hear Wrap, wrapped in some shit. Yeah. Can you think of anything that makes my like skin crawl and my like lips peel back, like biting into a raw onion? I'd be like, Ooh. that'd be disgusting. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're starving. Oh yeah, I'd do it. If, starving. if you're starving, you haven't eaten in like two. And days, you're on God's like, thumb. You're going to eat what you get. Yeah. Maybe the onions on God's That's thumb true. are different. Maybe those are the ones that make you live longer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe, Maybe those is that where I mean, <laughs> that, that, I mean, that's what Luke is that saying. Is that where Sam grew his onions? Was Maybe God's it was. Thumb. He did have to get across the, did he, the lake. Did he, fucking, he did have to get across the lake. Did he fucking climb up the mountain every day? Well, who knows how deep that lake was? Maybe a, That's a true. God's thumb. You, never, eh. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> well, we would know if we looked at like the look, like how the town sits, you could tell how deep it was. Yeah, but the town took the town was where Camp Green Lake is. Yeah, so God's Thumb is kind of far away from that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why yeah. you had to get a boat. That's, that's, why, had, that's why you had to get a boat. That's, that's true. what I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe God's Thumb was God's Thumb was like the source thumb? of the lake and yeah. nah, it, it literally was. A, I think it literally was God's Thumb, and that's that's just what maybe it was God's Thumb. You go there and you have you get some special treatment. You get special stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, that's fair. That's kind of what it's uh, getting at. Whatever. And then he starts singing, uh, "If only, if only the woodpecker side of the bark on the tree, cre- the bark on the tree is as sharp as the sky." Or something soft, like that. soft as soft as, as the sky. sky. Soft as the if sky. the bark on the tree was as soft as the sky, sky. and only he and cries to the, the moon. moon. If, if only, if only. Yeah, he starts singing that, which broke the curse because uh, Zero was drinking when he. And uh, go ahead. And uh, well, you got something to say? Right? I was gonna say, is this <laughs> is this where we flash back to uh, Stanley's dad, Mr. Winkler, making the breakthrough with his anti oh, the peaches, the anti shoe yes. thing, and the tie was, or apparently, 
So like the curse was somehow tied in with it being the peaches. Yeah. Yes. Or peaches the, and the onions. Peaches, it was peaches, peaches and, onions. and onions. Which was the two things. Because Kate, Kate made the peaches and Sam made the onions. Yes. That's pretty much. I mean that that Geared that, that is their whole family. Right. The peaches and onions. Those yeah. two meeting. Like helped their whole family. That is a disgusting combination. Peaches yeah, that's gross, man. But apparently, it but, smells like nothing. But peaches don't make your feet smell. Or I smell. can't smell peaches anything. Smell great. I love peaches, man. But yeah. I mean, I tell you what, I ain't, I'm not gonna try to put onions in my shoes. I can't smell no. anything. I think that was that was just peaches. Anything. Because he put peaches on his slanted shelf that he probably should have known was there because of his. his hey, what, a, what a fool! Oh. What a fool! And then it fell into the pot. And then he realized it didn't smell like anything anymore. It would have been better if the peaches were like sitting there and then like they mysteriously like fell in there. Like it was the curse acting uh, besides yeah. it just like sliding in there. Maybe that, that would have been a nice yeah. touch, I think. But that's another, that's a harder step in the paranormal direction. Yeah. But they're out there for this movie. They're, they're not uh, prominent, but they're, they're implied. Subtle hints. Subtle, Subtle hints. hints. Yeah. So peaches are the answer. And then, uh, then it's revealed that uh, Zero was the one that stole the shoes. Zero God. was an orphan, mm-hmm. and he went to the auction. Another, was, another flashback scene. Yes, yeah, it was a flashback. flashback. And they had red X's on them. <laughs> Their host. He just, just kind of took them. Yeah, took he didn't really give any Nobody's reason. Nobody's around or anything. No. It was hilarious how they had the auction with like this gigantic athletes, like sports memorabilia. Was at this orphanage, but it was like set up in the same like gym that the kids are like sleeping in. Kids are all sleeping. In <laughs> so there. you're like bidding on these cleats, and ten feet away from you is a sick orphan sick s- sleeping, sleeping on a bunk bed. <laughs> <laughs> Were they sick? Orphans. <laughs> Orf- no, orphans are orphans. orphans are never in perfect health. That's true. Yeah, not mentally. Can I have true. some more? Yeah. Excuse That's me, sir. That's a whole lot. Can I have some more? Some more. more? Some more. Some more. You want some more? She wants some more. Go get the breastplate stretcher. <laughs> Go get the breastplate stretcher. The, the, the breastplate stretcher. You're too fat for your armor. You're too fat. I can't. The yeah. claps, they won't reach. Don't get me into Game of Thrones right now. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> John Snow didn't have a license. <laughs> yeah, but the, the caveman quickly uh, forgives Zero. Because he's all well, that we never would have met. It's know, destiny. That's destiny. when he brought up. That's when he brought up. He's destiny. all about destiny. That caveman is. Yeah, he he believes in that. Yeah, destiny. and he wants to dig one more hole. And then the treasure like, hole. Should, I think that onions went to your head, but no, they they decide to go dig one more hole. They go back to Camp Green Lake, and uh, Mr. Sir and Pandensky are arguing, and Pandensky throws a wrench at. Or not Pandensky, but Mr. Sir oh, throws a wrench at Pandensky. If you dodge a wrench, you dodge a ball. It's basically, yeah. it's basically what it was. And he, but he got him good. Don't throw things at me! <laughs> <laughs> then they uh, go back to the hole with, with the big rock, which I forgot to mention. The hole with the big rock is where the treasure is. That's where uh, he found the KB behind the rock. Yeah, that's right. That's what it was. So we, they go back to that hole, and then they do find the treasure. And they're quickly discovered by the warden and Mr. Sir and uh, Pandansky. And they're quickly uh, covered in yellow spotted lizards. Oh, yes. They pour out of the hole where the treasure Always chest was dead. located. They guard, they guard the treasure. <laughs> but uh, they th- everyone thinks that they're just going to get killed right away. Once they're dead, we can just take the treasure, says the warden, kind of, basically. Yeah. Uh, but they don't get they don't get bit. And everyone's like, what, "What the hell's going on? What's going on here?" And so they kind of sit there for a while. And then the attorney arrives back. Well, did I even mention the attorney? Oh uh, no, I think we no, missed that. Yeah, yeah, she no, showed up. <laughs> she showed up while uh, Stanley and Zero were on God's thumb. Yes, I think they were on God's thumb at the time. She and shows up asking for Stanley because he's, he's innocent. innocent. Yeah. Which, funnily enough, Shia LaBeouf in reality, not innocent. From stealing shoes when he was nine years oh, old, he yeah, stole a pair exactly. of uh, Nike Cortez from a uh, store in California. I like those shoes. Nine years old. Shia LaBeouf, uh, he's kind of a weird, weird cat. He is a weird guy. He's an odd character, yeah. Yeah, I, I like him. He's a good actor. Like, he is a good actor. Remember uh, Fury? Oh yeah. Yeah. He was in Fury. He was good in that. I movie. have that movie on Blu-ray. I I haven't seen that since we saw it in the theater. It's good. It's a good flick. 
It's a good picture. It is a good picture. It is a good picture. It's a good, it's a good, good picture. picture. Good moving picture. Uh, shout they're, out, shout they're still in the hole. So the, the so the lawyer comes back, and she finds her way back to the hole that uh, Zero and Caveman are in, and uh, some some arguments ensue, and the warden calls Shia a, a thief. And uh, Stanley takes exception to that. And then he, he just gets out of the hole, and the, the lizards just kind of hop out. They yeah. just get off of Because <laughs> they went from standing and holding the treasure chest together, being covered in the lizards, and then it shows them again, and they're, like, sitting down. Laying and then it shows them again, and, and they're, like, standing. <laughs> but they, they have the lizards on them. hop right off of them. Yeah. They could have been more they, consistent with that. But it's probably hard to do with the actual lizards, because they, they had to use real lizards on that yeah. part, because they were, like, on them and stuff. Yeah. There were some CGI ones, too. But there was. The one, where, the one that, like... The, Near, like much earlier in the film, that was chasing Stanley, like when he was like after its first hole. When Mister Sir, Sir shot it. Quick draw, McGraw. That was clearly like that. yeah, that was. And in the uh, flash, we I think we forgot to mention in the flashback with uh, Kate Barlow leaning on Sam's boat when Trout uh, comes up, she lets a yellow spot of lizard bite her, so she dies. <laughs> yeah. Besides giving over the location of the treasure, yes, that yes. so that's her, Kate that Barlow's fate. Yes. Yeah. I might, have ju- I might have jumped the gun on that part. Barlow. And she looks... That's why I, like, she, I thought she looked like the same that she did. Yeah. And Trout looks like an old man. Maybe he, she ate the onions. Maybe he started drinking a bunch of like... Who Billy? Who Billy? Hillbilly Moonshine or something. And he got... And he lost all of his money. So he yeah. probably became a degenerate. He started dating a school girl, yeah. so... She did, he did marry a school girl. And then when, when KB gets bit by the lizard, she's like... S- start digging trout, and I just think that's really bad. That's pretty, that's, 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 cold. that's pretty cold. That's pretty cold. Line. Start digging trout. You'll never find it. But yeah. So the attorney. So they get out of the hole, and that's when we find out that uh, the treasure says Stanley Yelnets on it. That zero reads. Zero reads it. Zero. Pa- Pandensky reads. can't believe it. And zero I don't know. Can't Pand- read. I don't know if we've even really mentioned this, but Pandensky is such a dick to zero. Oh my god, he has the whole movie. <laughs> but he's so pleasant to everybody else. But he's so mean to zero. So mean to zero. I don't know what his deal is. <laughs> There's nothing going on. His stupid little head. And calls like, him stupid so many calls times. Calls him stupid. Man. He can't read. And he and, you, and he knows his name is Hector Zeroni. Yeah. Because he says it later in the movie, but he's yep. still he's the only one that. He calls he everybody else by the real yeah. name. He, he'll Except call for zero. He'll call fucking he says, Theodore. Yeah, he said no one cares about Hector. Yeah, so he knows his name, but he calls. He's the only one that calls him by his nickname. I wonder why that. Why does he hate him so much? What a terrible. Uh, Zero's not even like a bad guy. No. X rays a big trouble. Zigzag is a fucking. Yeah, Zigzag, Zigzag, Zigzag will kill everybody in detent. Yeah. yeah. True. You gotta watch out for. And, and, Zigzag and, and squid. squid. Squid will watch him do it. Squid doesn't give a shit. Yeah, squid yeah. doesn't give a shit either. Squid's an accomplice. I could see Squid being like a crony to Zigzag. Ooh, Squid's a follower, that's for sure. Absolutely. Because <laughs> he sucks because Squid's are zigzag. Really yeah. like. Yeah. And that's when the cops show up. Mm. And they, they start accusing the camp of not being very nice. And then the other campers from D-Tent see Stanley and uh, Zero, and they're all like, oh, you smell like onions and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's surprised to see them alive, of course, because they've yes. been lost in the desert for a few days. Yes. Hey, they're alive. So the authorities are there, the camp counselors and the warden are like, fuck, this is not going good. <laughs> They're back already? <laughs> yeah, and Stanley wants to take Zero home. But they're like, you can't just take him But like, home. no, there's not, we can't do that. But there, there's no file for, for Hector. Because they threw it away because when he went missing because they're dirty bastards. They destroyed it. And then Pedensky says there's no file for Hector Zeroni. So they're allowed to take Hector. And this whole time, Mr. Sir is like hiding and like flipping yeah. up his jacket in front of he's his like, face. <laughs> like he's like going like this. Act, the whole he's time, acting very which guilty. Which brings more attention to you than anything else. And then the cops recognize him as Marion something. Marion yeah. something. He's a, some sort of a Marian criminal. Marion was a girl's yeah. name. Yeah. Somebody, somebody says, I, th- I didn't know that was a man's name. And then <laughs> Mr. Sir is like, it ain't. It was like, ooh. I, I never ooh. understood that yeah, part. Why did he say it ain't? He, I think it he's just, it, I, he's just, ex- go, he's just accepting, it's like, I'm, I'm fucked. It's a girl's name. And everyone's like, ooh, like he burned someone, but he burned himself. But he burned himself. I think that was kind of a good response by him. It ain't. <laughs> it 
Weird. And then that's when, and that that's when he's like, and Panisky ain't no doctor either. <laughs> and then uh, Armpit uh, gives Stanley a letter saying he's sorry to his mom. Yep, yep. That's uh, Armpit's redemption Which there. Tell the her question. Theater, what's arm? What, what's the deal with Armpit and his mom? You know. Yeah. What happened? What happened there? It's not really. Hindered. I'm sure. If, I'm sure if you're at Cam Green, like, there's a good chance you might not have a perfect relationship with your folks. Probably not. Stanley died the whole time. But he's innocent. You know what else did? Zero. He didn't know his mom, but they were just, they still loved each other. That's true. He never knew his mom, but somehow she showed up at the end. Of well, he hired private yeah. investigators, yeah. like you said. Yeah. That's true. That's true. It starts to rain. <laughs> it starts to rain. It starts to rain. Yeah. yeah. First time Everyone's in like, years. oh my God, water's fall from the sky. Because it hasn't rained since Sam got killed after the, the school burning. Yeah, it sucked up all the rain. He must have. Uh, so Camp Green Lake itself was also cursed. It's here. Yeah, which makes, which kind of made us consider that Sam was also some kind of sorcerer. But that's just maybe he uh, was. Like Zeroni, Madame Zeroni. That's just another theory. Though. You know what? He yeah, probably Sam. was. Sam because because what else would the there. connection be? I know there's the peaches and the onions, but what else would the connection be with 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 kissing Kate Barlow? And, and I guess she could have an interaction with Stanley. Yeah. First. But like, I feel like they had. I feel like Sam is like some sort of. Sorcerer. Yeah, do you think the uh, sort of wizard? It's like the the curses got like kind of assuming that his branches. Assu- yeah, assuming that Sam also did some kind of sorcery <laughs> to where when he died it would never rain there again. Maybe. Because what? Why? Because he. Because why would he, the curse of the Yelnets's affect Cam Green Lake? Like there's no rain. Like there's no Yelnets's there for for generations until Stanley. Yeah. What? There. What broke the? The curse was getting the treasure and breaking up the curse? Yes. It, well, no. What broke the curse was him carrying Zero up the mountain and singing If Only, yeah. if only the Woodpecker Sack. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then him drinking the water. Why did it say Stanley Yelnets on the treasure chest when it was because Kate Barlow? It was, it was Stanley Yelnets the first that had the treasure originally. And, and then Kissing Kate, Kate Barlow stole, stole it. it That's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a great. He had an answer. It's a great, it's a great and then everybody starts to dance in the rain. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's fucking licking the rain, and X-Ray's like, well, good luck out there, and no one's as, as kind as us, or whatever he says. Yeah. He was <laughs> even, a dick the whole time. Even though he was a dick the whole time, <laughs> yeah. Whole, him and Zigzag and Squeak can go fuck themselves. But, for you. First one. Yeah. For you. And then, uh, so they, they end up back at the apartment with Henry Winkler and the wife and the grandpa, and they open the treasure, and uh, they decide that half of it's going to zero. And they open he the gets tr- half. Half. I think that's unfair. I think that's unfair. I also agree. With <laughs> or I, this is what I thought. Maybe, maybe because Wink is. Cause I was like, half? That's a lot. Because <laughs> that's unfair. Because maybe like, like this is, like, this is, this is my like theory with why they, with why they were so quick to like split it. Is they're like we're just they're like worried about the curse still. I think they're like, hey, Whatever. let's just play it safe. Let's give him half. To the Zeronis. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Meh. I can give him that kid half. Maybe. Maybe I'll give him a quarter. But that wasn't part of the deal. No. no. Zero, Madame Zeroni wasn't going to get any money out of it. How hilarious, <laughs> how hilarious was it the when, they, when they broke open the treasure chest and there's like a diamond across it, like goblet, goblet <laughs> and all like yeah. the railroad bonds or whatever they were, and there's like gold <laughs> doubloons. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the, the Stanley Ellis that collected all this treasure? Was he a treasure hunter? I want to meet he that must, guy. He must have been. I mean, he, he was, was a stagecoach when he got robbed. Yeah. Didn't get kissed, though. Kissing Bar- would have killed him when he was born. That's true. Kissing yeah. Kevar would have yeah. killed him. I don't know. It was yeah. I mean, it was the eighteen hundreds. He was a cowboy. He had, he had a gang that all died. Yeah, in the stagecoach robbery. In the stagecoach. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. But there were millions, things worth millions of dollars in the chest. Yeah. And, and Word. They, they gave half of Word. it to Hector. But they became neighbors afterward. Yeah. And they did well, become neighbors. Well, Hector found his mom. Yep. And yes. then the Sploosh Empire started. Yes. He's probably. Making lots of money yeah. from Sploosh. Yeah, Sploosh for sure. Especially since they have that main athlete dude who had yeah. the cleats that hope got he, stolen. Hope he apologized to Stanley. <laughs> yeah, man. I'd like. You're to, no fan of mine. I'm innocent, you asshole. I'd like, like to think he forgave Stanley forgave him, but you never really know. Yeah, sure. yeah. They, Maybe they I, like they must have played catch in the backyard. Well, had they, had no, a game of catch. When they're showing the commercial, <laughs> Stanley Stanley sitting on the couch. And Sweet Feet is behind him, and they like do like. Oh dance. yeah, they were they were. He was there. Yeah, he was there. So they must have been throwing a party for like the airing of the commercial. I'm guessing. And they must have been. Yes. I like the statue they had that was like Poseidon, but instead of holding a trident, he had the fucking shovel. Yeah, the shovel. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that's that's a good touch. Yeah. But yeah. is that 
Like the end of the movie? Oh, they find, yeah. Sierra finds his mom and then they're next door neighbors. Yep, that's all I got. Yeah, and that's and happily ever after. <laughs> Everyone lives happily ever after. So that was our very first episode of the podcast. Damn, what a deep dive of holes. Yeah. In a movie from 2000. We went pretty deep. I feel like it's been a long Classic. time since someone's researched holes like holes, that. Holes, yeah. Actually, that's not true because I saw there was like whole ass like research studies on this really? movie. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Well, I mean, it's, I think it's all, it's kind of a cult classic. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Everyone I know is Yeah. Absolutely. You haven't, I probably don't know you. Yeah, <laughs> don't want to know you. No, I don't want to talk to you. And if you've seen holes, then you I can definitely don't send me a, send me a Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen holes, then don't. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah, don't. don't. So we are um, an hour and forty minutes in. Nice, oh, man, we which I thought did pretty good. I think that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. That's pretty good. All right, should we um, should we sign off? Sure. Yeah. How do we do that? Um, what, what a great first episode. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to uh, doing the next one. We'll have to figure out what the next movie's gonna be every week. I think that's that's up to you, man. Yep. Every week, yeah. every week, somebody's gonna choose a different one, and I think. Um, when we have like the read through of like what happens in the movie, whoever picks the movie should do that part, I think, and then the other people can look up the interesting Jesus. stuff. I was thinking the same thing. Nice. So in, we are so in sync. We're so in sync. I like that a lot. <laughs> well, thank you all very much for listening in a now much darker room than we <laughs> started. Yeah, yeah, it's gotten a lot darker. We spent. Darker. We we took a long time figuring out oh, lighting. Right. We're gonna get a ring light, but. We just got a lamp. That lamp is the only light right now. But it's doing okay. Our GoPro died. (laughs) GoPro did die. (laughs) But that that made it like an hour, 35 or 40, so it got most of it. Well, my name has been Cab. Cole, like, yeah. Um, My name is BJ. And thank you for listening to Aiming for the Bushes. Aim for the Bushes.